Thanks for checking out this episode of Help! I'm Turning Into My Dad. Now, if you want to hear the entire episode and get early access to all future episodes, as well as the entire back catalog, all you've got to do is go to patreon.com slash becomingmydad. And for just $5 a month, you'll get access to all of our episodes, as well as early releases of every future episode. That's patreon.com slash becomingmydad. I can't imagine. I'm not imaginary. That's why I'm not an actor. Caitlin, if you do a good job, I'll pay you $20. Dad, oh my God. Dad, I'm annoyed. You're annoying me. Dad, stop. Help, I'm turning into my dad. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Help, I'm Turning Into My Dad. I'm Lindsay. And I am T.O. Nico. And this episode is going to be kind of a continuation from last episode. We realized we missed some things that we wanted to tell you about Vegas and the Barbie movie and some other like little stories of things that have happened in our lives in the last couple of weeks. Right. So we got a lot of Barbie details and Vegas stuff in the last episode. And if you're hearing this on YouTube, you need to go to Patreon, the link is below, um, to subscribe and hear the whole show. Because you're only getting 10 minutes on YouTube. That's not enough of me. Or me. Right. So um, go ahead, subscribe to Patreon. You'll get the complete episode early. You'll even get it early every week. So um, go check that out. So some of the stuff you're missing is the fact that when we were doing all the walking in Las Vegas in that 110 degree heat... We passed by a little store called Smith and Walensky, America's Steakhouse. <laughs> we were just thinking what a dumb name for a steakhouse that is. Smith and Walensky. <laughs> I was like, it sounds like a law firm. And so as I, we're walking without a beat, I was like, yeah, Chris, I, Chris is my brother. I said, Chris, it's like meet with an attorney. That could be their, <laughs> that could be their slogan. M-E-E-T or M-E-A-T? No, it's M-E-A-T. Meet with an attorney. And like you could book a table for two and then it had three chairs there and then the attorney will sit down with you and you can discuss legal advice over a steak. That attorney would have multi multiple multi-million dollar mansions. So head over to Smith and Walensky and uh, Las Vegas Boulevard where you can meet with, with an, an attorney. attorney. Anyway, speaking of restaurants, we went to a tapas restaurant, which was... What um, was the name of this place? Because I was trying to remember it when I made the vlog, but the only thing I could remember was just the fact... Of what happened there, and I was like, the restaurant where this happened? Uh, I don't recall. It was in the Cosmo Hotel. It was in the Cosmo, but I can't remember what the name of it was. And this was a meal that your dad really wanted to have. Yeah. And I had made him go with me to the Gordon Ramsay Steakhouse. So they just had to... He did not want to go to pay $100 for a meal, so this is the time when he could make me pay $100 for a meal. So we went to a tapas restaurant. It was like not topless, a it, tapas. T a p a s. Yep. It was a Spanish style restaurant. We had seen it on the Food Network because they make a paella, and they were featured in an episode of like Unique Eats or something like that. And the paella was the special of the evening. It was. It was it really was good. The thing that he pitched us when he came to the table. Mm-hmm. And he was explaining how tapas works, where they, you know, you're supposed to order tapas three or small four plates. things. Yep, three or four things per person, and, and you share. just have like three or four little, like, small, like, portions of a food. Most of them were like veggie dishes. They didn't have a lot of meat options. Mm-mm. And my dad is a meat person. He Me could too. never, ever, ever be a vegetarian. Well, I could. I could be if I tried. I am not really married to the idea of eating meat with every meal, but my dad is. So that was not going to work for him with the amount of vegetarian options that were on the menu. And so we all looked at the menu and we decided, paella sounds Well, he said, good. I'm here for the paella. And Lindsay said, yeah, that sounds good. Let me do that too. Well, I wanted it too. So all three of us ordered, ordered paella. paella. And then, oh, side note, when they make the paella, they ring a bell in the kitchen and you can like see the kitchen from where you're sitting. They ring a bell. And everybody around the bell, all the workers go, paella! <laughs> and we were the only ones to do it the whole time we were there because it only did it once. No, because they were they made those paellas for someone else. With those paellas that they said, paella, to didn't, they didn't even do come to us. our table. No. I, don't know. I was hoping to get it on video that's for why the vlog. I, that's why I knew it didn't happen twice. Yeah, it only happened once. 
But it took like 10 minutes between when they said paella to when they brought us our paellas. Mm-hmm. So. But anyway, so we go to order paella. <laughs> and the guy looks at us and, and Chris orders a paella. Oh, great, great, great. What, what would you like? And Lindsay says... Paella. <laughs> oh, same thing. Okay. Uh, and how about you? And I was like, <laughs> That's paella? That's a really bad, I really bad accent. I don't That's... know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just being the server. And he goes, oh, I'll th- you do not want to try tapas? Because when he... When he pitched the tapas to us, he was like, yeah, so you can get like three or four flavors and you can tr- share and you can try all these flavors. And he kept using the word flavors. 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 You're only going to get one flavor. See, here in Wisconsin, when we go to a restaurant, we order one flavor on purpose because we want one flavor. Maybe you get, maybe you go to a rest- Mexican restaurant and you order, order a... Chimichanga. With a side that's of rice you, and beans. That's and then all you're you going to eat. Then you get three flavors. Mm-hmm. But, like, that's a side dish. That's not three plates of food. That's ridiculous. Who goes to a restaurant and order three plates of food? He was not happy. He goes, no. so, so nobody's going to order this. See, I have to do a little, little voices because otherwise you won't know he's talking. I suppose. You are not going to order any uh, any of the, 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 the things. He was no, like, you not. only want one flavor? Yes. Now yes, go please. away. I mean, I ordered two drinks. What else does he want? The drinks are 20 bucks each. Yeah. You're getting a good tip. Go away. And the paella, it's not like we ordered a $14 paella. No, this when... was $55. $55 for rice, people. $55. Rice and veggies and a sausage. <sighs> sausage wasn't even good. No. It tasted like a brat that sat out too long. Yeah. Anyway. It was disappointing. And then the last uh, experience we had in Vegas, we forgot to mention, was the fact that there was a lady... That went on the bus. Because we got tired of walking. So we had to take the public transportation, right? Yeah. And these are double-decker buses in Vegas Mm because they're more able to fit more people. Because there's lots of people. I love that she's been there once and she's an expert. Go ahead. Of course I'm an expert. It only takes one time. I don't know what you go there multiple times for. One and done. That's all I need. You haven't had drinks yet. Shut up. Anyway... Lady comes on the bus with her three kids. By the way, props to her because she had three small children and a stroller to all control in a v- busy Vegas bus. So, like, props to you. And she's got her kids sitting in the seat and um, the kids are, like, being kids and they're, like, licking the windows and stuff. And she goes, no, you can't lick the windows or the seats. Your lips will fall off. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, God, that is a way to get your kids to do what you want them to do. Um, and then the other part that she says, we were driving through the area of Vegas where they have all the wedding chapels and the little, the, one of the kids was like, mom, there's another wedding chapel, mom, another one. And if you have ever heard of DJ Khaled, you know that he starts out all of his song by saying another one. And the dude in front of me, every time the little kid was like, mom, another wedding chapel, the dude in front of me would go, and another one. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> in a DJ Khaled voice and I was like stop that is so funny I should have gotten it on video but I don't know if you would have been able to hear him because like the bus is loud well the bus thing that happened that I was surprised about was the fact that um, there was a really heavy set dark skinned man in front of me who was really funny I mean I was enjoying all the commentary he was providing to the 60 year old women in front of him <laughs> about what to do downtown Las Vegas now your dad stays in downtown Las Vegas. He yeah. loves it. And loves me too. Fremont. I really love Fremont Street too. But this guy's like, ladies, you better not be going off uh, off the streets of downtown Las Vegas because, uh, you know, that's where you get raped. And he looks at the woman's husband. He goes, they'll probably rape you too. <laughs> I was like, I've been downtown Las Vegas on Fremont forever, have wandered to the side streets and never felt once like that was going to happen to me. <laughs> And so I just was laughing the whole time he was telling these old people that they were going to get raped. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. Uh, He might have been on something. Probably. All right. So we are almost 10 minutes into the program, which means that our YouTube friends who only subscribe for the first 10 minutes are going to lose us soon. So head on over to Patreon.com. The link is in the description to continue this episode. Um, But before we jump off YouTube and uh, become Patreon only, I want to talk about Miranda Lambert. Quote, fake news. Fake news. You are fake news. It's all fake news. Fake news. It's phony stuff. It didn't happen. 
It's all fake news. You and I go to concerts all the time, mm-hmm. and I'm sure you heard the story by now that Miranda Lambert was shaming fans and stopped a song. I saw this on TikTok. They were trying to take their picture with her in the background. Picture is lovely. This is what most people do when they go to a concert, yet she stopped her show and scolded these fans. And so since you go to so many concerts, uh, I want your take, and then I'll tell you what my old man take is. I think that you pay so much money for a concert ticket, take the picture. You're going to regret not taking the picture. You're never going to regret taking a picture. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's good It can memories. be easily deleted if it didn't turn out. If it didn't turn out, you can delete it. If you are looking back at it later in life and you're like, hey, I remember going to that Miranda Lambert concert. Oh, I wish we would have taken a picture. There's your picture. Take a picture. Mm-hmm. If you're ever contemplating whether you want to take a picture, take a picture. Because then you're going to sit around with your friends and you're going to be like, we don't have any pictures Remember that us. one time when we did that? Yeah, right? Prove it. You're going to wish yeah. you had a picture. And so I can see Miranda Lambert being like, I don't know, I kind of see both sides where she like doesn't want fans. Because if somebody's taking a picture in front of you while you're trying to watch a concert, that's very distracting. So for the people behind you who paid just about the same amount of money you did for their seats, they're going to be not very happy. Because you're taking a picture in the middle of the show. But also, you paid for the ticket, too. So I kind of see both sides. You know what I mean? But if you're d- contemplating taking a picture, and if you can get a quick little picture with the performer on see, the I stage See, I think her problem you, was it wasn't quick. Mm, they lingered. That I can see. And they had to get all their buddies in the shot. And that I can to- see. That I personally, as a con- fellow concert goer, I would be upset about that. I would be like, get your picture and be done. Like People like that who forget that they're not the only ones at concerts really drive me nuts. Yeah, well, and it's the fact that a lot of times people go to concerts and they sing at the top of their lungs. It's like, I didn't come to pay to watch or listen to you sing Trisha Yearwood. I'd like to hear her sing Trisha Yearwood. Mm-hmm. Did that bother you at the Garth concert in Vegas when everybody... I wasn't sitting directly next to her. The one girl next to you was like responding to everything. Mm-hmm. She was like, so I released this song in 1995 and the lady next to I him... I was born in 95! <laughs> Trisha can't hear you! <laughs> and nobody cares. No one cares when you were born. I that means that you're way too old to be acting like a dum-dum. <laughs> I heard eight times that she was born in 1995. <laughs> I get it. When we were Before the concert started, we got there about 45 minutes before the show started. And these ladies sat down next to us. We were like, oh, we have nice little seat buddies. And we were kind of chatting it up a little bit. The lady next to Uncle Nick had gone to the Eros tour, which I was very sad that I didn't get to go to. I So I was asking gave her the about... the opportunity. I don't want to talk about it. I was asking her about the Eros tour. And we were like just making small talk. And I was like, oh, she's a good person. We didn't get to... We didn't have to sit by dum-dums. And then the show started. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> were I we wrong. And I took it all back. To hear the rest of the story and the rest of the podcast, head over to patreon.com slash becoming my dad. And for just five dollars a month, you'll get access to our entire back catalog as well as early access to every future episode. Support Nick and Lindsay and this podcast by going to patreon.com slash becoming my dad. Can't wait to tell you the rest of the story over on Patreon.